what I would do if I would not have a lot of money. Pretty much me. 10 years ago, just the steps that I did. I started and it got me pretty far, I would say. Hey, this is Renee. Welcome back for another video on this channel. So I often get this question and people always ask me like, what can I do? Which expert advisor should I buy? Which strategy should I execute? What are the best settings if I only have small capital, like 100 bucks or 1000 bucks? And I, I honestly, I will not give you the same answer that everyone gives you on YouTube because it just sounds nice. Because most people would say with 100 bucks, you can definitely become a millionaire if you just keep working hard. But in my opinion, it is not that easy. Like the chances getting from 100 to like 1 million with 100 bucks just with trading, if it's manual, manually or automated, the, the chances are going against zero. To be honest. And I know there are some trading gurus in the internet who also had a pretty popular challenge, for example, where they got like from 100 to 1 million. But most of these challenges, most of this content is already exposed. So this is why I will not tell you that with 100 bucks, you have good chances to get like everywhere so quickly. Not with like normal trading. There are other ways. Like what I like to say is that if you only have not as much money as, as other traders, for example, is you can still start definitely. Like for example, what you can do is you can get or you can work yourself into an becoming an automated trader. Like what you can do and what is very easy and it's actually free. You can learn how to code. For example, for the MetaTrader 5, I have many, many videos on my channel, many free videos, actually. I have videos that are absolutely suitable for beginners also, and they do not cost you a dime. So you can really start with zero money in the bank and you can learn how to automate trading strategies. Of course, you might not have the money to trade these automated trading strategies, but that's also not the point. And it's it's actually not really necessary because, for example, if you can create some trading strategies and you can test them and they produce really good results, it is totally a possibility for you to sell these programs on MQL5, for example. Make some or get some starting capital by selling programs on MQL5. There is nothing wrong with this. And actually, it's a lot better or it's a your chances of getting some seed funding for your own trading fund by selling programs on MQL5 is a lot better than risking the, I would say, like the little um, money that you have in your trading account, uh, trading if you have rarely any chance to be successful with it. So it's much, much better to, first of all, go some safe and secure road, like, for example, selling on MQL5. Also, another thing, another idea that I have is you could set up just a demo account, for example, or a very small live, live trading account, and then do not try to go from 100 to 1 million. Instead, try to go from 100 to 150 or 200 euro in one year. This is still a not so easy task to do, like double your account in one year. But if you can make this consistently, like going from 100 to, let's say, 150 in the first year, then in the second year to 200, and so on and, on and so on. And if you do this for multiple years, there are a lot of opportunities that will come your way. Like, for example, people will ask you how you do it. They will ask you to manage money for them. Or if you set up a signal on MQL5 or any other signal providing platform, you can get money for just managing other people's funds. And this is not unrealistic. Like I get requests like this very, very often. And I also show my trading. Like you could also do the same. You could use your 100 euro account, maybe set up a live stream or get some kind of attention on your trading style. And you might um, have others who are willing to pay you for your service. So there is there are options like this. And these options are better and more suitable in the beginning, I would say, than just trying to double, triple, or uh, make like 10x on your account every year because that's just unrealistic. Also, if we step one way away from this trading approach and focus on the programming part again, programming trading strategies for the MetaTrader 5 is actually, it's such a valuable skill and you can offer your services on platforms in the internet or maybe you create some kind of um, 
maybe create a YouTube channel, create a website, post in forums and get some kind of attention. So some clients want to I want you to code programs for them. This is also a very, very good and easy way to get some initial funding for your trading funds. Like for example, when I did programming services uh, several years ago, I was working mainly for German clients, so they were paying a little bit better, but I could easily charge 200 euro per hour just coding trading strategies for them. So you can see this skill that you can get for free, and I can only repeat myself here, it is so valuable. You can create strategies that you can save, you can create strategies that you can use as a signal for others to follow and then make money out of this. And you can also provide the coding services itself to make money. And to answer my initial question again, like what I would do if I would not have a lot of money in my trading account, and this is also pretty much me 10 years ago, these were like all of these steps are pretty much just the steps that I did. I started to learn how to code. I sold some programs, I coded a lot for others, and now I'm also providing signals. This is not really my main business, but I could provide uh, signals. So this is pretty much just what I did, and it got me pretty far, I would say. So don't try to force your account to double every year or triple every year because it's just unrealistic, and instead focus a little bit on a more, on a safer road, because this will definitely get you somewhere and just gambling your very little money will most likely not get you anywhere. So I hope that you like this little insight. I mean, it's probably not what everyone wants to hear, but it's it's kind of an honest view and a realistic view on the, on the things from my perspective, because I've pretty much been there and I've I've walked this road already. So hope you like this insight and thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye.